Thank you for considering Hindenburg. In this guide, we will run through what will happen when you purchase Hindenburg. Let's first find a product that we like. On the product page, we find all the Hindenburg products. And in this case, we will choose Hindenburg Pro. Here we can find more information about the product and its features. But here and now, we just want to buy it. In the shop, we get to choose how we would like to buy it. If you prefer to pay up front, then choose the perpetual option. If you would rather subscribe, then there are a few options for you. You can pay per month or per year. Subscribing monthly means that you will pay every month a small amount. If you pay per year, then you pay for the entire year up front. This is, by the way, the cheapest option. In this case, we will go with the monthly subscription. On the My Purchase page, we will see some more details. We have the selected product and the price. You can still change your mind about how you would like to pay, by the way. In addition, you have the terms and conditions and options to subscribe to the newsletter. Before continuing, you will need to check the terms and conditions. It's all up to you if you would like to stay up to date, but if you do, you will get the information about upcoming live training events and other relevant information. You can always unsubscribe later if you no longer need it. Moving on, we're ready to buy. And the first thing that we're asked to do is to create an account. Your email address and password will now be your entry to Hindenburg. You can use it both for activating the application and logging into your account. For users that have been with us for some years now, this is all new. Before you had a license key, but with the account, you no longer need to remember where your license key is. So, fill out the mail and password. By the way, the password needs to have both an uppercase letter and a symbol. And we're ready to move on. The next thing that will happen is you'll be asked to confirm your email. Locate the mail and confirm. Once your mail has been confirmed, we will ask you for the actual information needed to create your account. It's not much really, just your name, postal code and country. We will take good care of your personal information, so you don't need to worry about us selling on your information to other companies. Now the account is set up and you can find your credit card. Again, we are doing our best to make sure that all transactions are secure. So we use a company called Paddle to take care of the transactions for us. Once you have input your credit card information, you will get a mail from Paddle confirming your purchase. You also get a mail from us confirming your account information. Now back to the website. All is well and you have a few options. You can download the program directly from here, but it's very likely that you have a trial version on your computer already. And in that case, you can just open it by pressing this button. Hindenburg will open up with your login information ready. Just input your password and you're good to go. We can see here that there's some information about your license and your status. If you would like to visit your account, then you could go back to the website or you can use the direct link from the License Management Console here. So there you have it. You are up and running and ready to create audio stories. Thank you for purchasing Hindenburg.